Hey class, great to see you guys here today. Today I want to talk about with our notes the topic of resistors as it pertains to electrical circuits. So we talk about what is a resistor. Um, we've talked about in class resistors as light bulbs, but sometimes resistors are literally just pieces of plastic wrapped around a wire in order to restrict the flow of current in electrical circuit. So at the top you can see the general symbol we use for resistors and the actual look of a resistor that we'll talk about today. Here's some examples of resistors. Uh, at the top left, you'll see carbon film resistors. These are really classic four band resistors um, that you'll see in a lot of different electronics. In the bottom left, you see some carbon film resistors. These are very, very specific types of resistors that have a very, very specific resistance and use in very specific types of electronics. Top right, you'll see some different types of resistors that actually can vary the resistance with the turning of a knob. In the bottom right you'll see some surface mount resistors. All these have the exact same functionality in that their whole job is to just resist or decrease the amount of current flowing in an electrical system. Obviously you can see from the chart there that these are very small electrical components we're talking about. Smaller than typically a dime. We talk about the use of resistors uh, we talked about them in, in use in a series circuit and parallel circuit. And just to refresh your memory, we talk about a series circuit. Uh, we're talking about a circuit in which you, if you take away one of the components, the whole entire circuit will stop working. On the other hand, parallel circuits, because there are multiple paths, if you take away a component, the whole circuit will still function. So let's talk about them as they pertain to parallel circuits. We talk about each one of these components um, and this concept of electrical power. So we talk about why would we ever use a resistor in the first place? Well, if we look at the power supplied to each one of our resistors, let's say resistor number one right now has a calculated electrical power use of 0.48 watts. Let's say for some chance this resistor can only take 0.35 watts. And if we supply too much wattage to this resistor, it could damage it, explode it, or even worse, break the whole entire circuit itself. The use of a resistor is a cheap and easy way to manipulate and change the amount of current going to that resistor by taking up or using some of it. So before we go forward, let me show you an example of what I mean using our simulation. So here you can see we have our simulation running. I'm running over on the left side of here, 15 volts. In the middle, I have a light bulb that's using 10 ohms of resistance. And on the right, I have a light bulb that has 25 ohms of resistance. If we look at this circuit, and let's say, oh man, this light bulb right in the middle is using way too much power. We can insert one of these little, little doohickeys, a resistor, into our circuit, into this little path, to restrict the amount of flow going to that light bulb. So, if I put it in, we can see that just by putting in that resistor, we now are changing the amount of current flowing to this little part of our parallel circuit. Now again, we talked about we use 15 volts of, uh, volts of uh, or voltage in this circuit. If I check the voltage here at the bulb and my other side of my, my resistor, I can see this entire path is still using 15 volts um, in our electrical circuit, but we've obviously changed the amount of power going to this individual light bulb, which in turn dims it. Now we talk about resistors. There's a very simple uh, and easy way to determine the value of a resistor. It's this color code system mentioned on the left side, or we can also always use a multimeter to measure the resistance of a resistor. Today, I just want to focus on the color code method because we have already talked about measuring um, resistance using a multimeter in class. So on your screen again, you'll see on the left side there are various types of resistors, but many of them will follow this four um, band color code. In the middle and kind of on the right, you can see this table um, that we use to decode the different colors on our resistor. This is something I would never expect you to memorize and that you would always have the ability to look at and use. The more important part, rather than memorization, is being able to use this table. So let's use it with a couple examples here. 
Uh, you can see on the top the resistor we're looking at. The first band is brown, second band is black, third band is red. On the very far right, that fourth band is gold. The way you use this color coding system is that the first band corresponds to brown, which is 1. The second band corresponds to black, which is 0. We take those two numbers to form the number 10, 1, and 0, and then we multiply 10 times the multiplier that is red. So in this case, it would be 10 times 100. Now, that fourth band, the gold, that gold is saying, what is our tolerance? Or it's basically giving us a little bit of wiggle room. In this case, it's giving us a 5% wiggle room with our resistor. So mathematically, we look at it, we say 10 times 100 with a plus or minus 5 tolerance, which means this resistor is a 1 kilo ohm resistor plus or minus 5 for the sake of this example. Here, looking at example 2. Before I explain this one, take a minute and in your notes, predict what is the resistance of this resistor. You can see the colors are orange, white, and green with the multiplier, and a tolerance with gold. Give yourself a couple minutes or a minute, try this example, and we'll check it together. How'd you do? In this example, remember, the orange uh, represents 3, the white represents 0, that multiplier of green is 100,000, 100, so 100K means, with a plus or minus tolerance of 5%. So we say 39 times 100,000, which gives us a final resistance of 3.9 million ohms with a plus or minus 5%. Let's go the other way. Let's try to design our own resistor. Let's say we wanted to design a res resistor with 1.5 kilo ohms of resistance with a plus or minus 5 tolerance. In this case, our first band, we want to correspond to 1. That'd be brown. Our second band, we want to correspond to 5. That would be green. And then our multiplier, just a little tricky here, um, would not be the 1K, which a lot of people would say. That wouldn't be orange. It'd be red, because we'd say 1 and 5 equal 15 times 100 to equal 1,500 ohms. We use that gold band to say there is a tolerance of 5% or a little bit of a wiggle room with that resistor too. Now, let's say for some reason we didn't have that table or we couldn't Google it on our phone. We always can use a multimeter to measure the resistance of a resistor simply by touching our contact wires and dialing in our multimeter the right section, which is that bottom left side of our multimeter. So between that resistance chart and your multimeter, you really should, shouldn't have a hard time measuring the resistance of a resistor. Good job today, crew. We'll see you again.